Right guys, welcome back to Zeus Fitness. Today we're going to be smashing out a 10 minute no repeat ab and core workout. So you're going to need probably just the one dumbbell for this one, okay? So pick a moderately heavy one, nothing crazy heavy, okay? Uh, we'll be doing some static holds and we'll be doing some movement exercises. We'll be doing a lot of body weight stuff too, but we'll have a dumbbell thrown into the mix for some of the exercises, so have it handy. We're gonna be doing 40 seconds of each exercise, 15 seconds transition time, and we're doing 10 exercises in total. No bench required today, guys. We just need the mat, okay? So we've got rid of the bench, just the one dumbbell, simple. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a static hold, and we're gonna start with the low plank. So we're gonna get down. Onto our forearms, up onto our tiptoes, keeping the hands shoulder width apart. Don't bring them in to meet in the middle. Clench the buttocks, draw in the abs, squeeze and hold. Okay, so the head is up as well. There's no point looking at your feet here. Just put your neck in an awkward posture. The head stays nice and still. Abs squeezed on like somebody's about to kick you in the tummy. Buttocks clenched like somebody's about to whip you in the ass of the wet towel. Head. The back side, the heels all in one straight line. Turn up the tip of the lower back, turn up the pike of butt up in the air, turn up to bring your hands in to meet in the middle. You'll take the weight with your traps. It's your core that we're working here, so the obliques, all the abs are switched on and engaged. And stop. Okay, up next we're gonna do a full crunch using a dumbbell. So we're gonna get the feet hip width apart, dumbbell in hand, we're gonna crunch up and reach up towards the ceiling. So breathe out as you crunch up. And away we go. And you can't get right the way up, guys. You can tuck your feet underneath uh, your couch or underneath the bench. Or if you've got a training partner, get them to hold your feet down or you can just crunch up about six inches if you can't get right the way up. And stop up now, so you'll stay in this position. We're gonna bring the dumbbell up like so. Hold it there, get the legs together, bring them up, meet the dumbbell, and lower them back down towards the floor. Try not to arch the lower back, try not to bend the knees. So we want the core strong. And the spine stabilized so we're not arching it, putting pressure in the lower back. And breathe in on the way down. And breathe out on the way up. Breathing. It's very important doing ab exercises because if you have a full diaphragm and you're trying to crunch the abs, it just doesn't work. Next, we're going to do one for the obliques. It's called a windmill. So we take the dumbbell up in the right hand, get the feet double, hip width apart. Take the left foot out to the side, get the left hand the outside of the left thigh, and we breathe out as we dip down, just past our knees, keeping the legs straight. As we do, we're going to rotate the dumbbell forward. This one's going to challenge the obliques. Don't make, make you work muscles that you didn't even know you had. Okay, I'm gonna swap over the other side. So left foot pointing forward, right foot pointing out the side, both legs straight, right hand on the outside of the right thigh, dumbbell up in the left hand, and three, two, one, let's go.
next up. Okay, we're gonna drop the dumbbell down to the next one. Up next, we're gonna go with Old Faithful, the bicycle crunch. Yeah, I love this exercise. Well, I hate it, but I hate it because it always works. Fingertips to the side of the head, legs up at a right angle, right elbow up the left knee, extend the right leg, don't let it hit the ground. Return and repeat on the other side. side uh, plank dig throughs. So we get in the side plank position. Right forearm down, crisscross the feet. Raise yourself up like so. Left hand digs in through and brings up nice and slow. So go slow on these guys. Make sure those hips are off the floor and the obliques are engaged. And take your time. Make sure that elbow is directly underneath the shoulder. Looking for a range of motion here. So really Taking through nice and deep. And stop, okay, now we're gonna swap it over onto the other side. Exercise number eight of 10, nearly done. So crisscross those feet, up you go. Right hands, big and three. Let's go. We're going to do a sprinter crunch. It's a hated exercise by many. All right, so lie flat on the back, hands hovering over our chest like so. We breathe out as we crunch right up and bring our forearm to our opposite knee, back down, and repeat on the other side. The stinkiest one of all. Save the best for last. Get one dumbbell there. Hands behind you. Feet either side of it. And we breathe out as we bring it over. Don't let them touch the floor. And back over the top. You're not going to like this one. Save the best for last. This challenge is all the core. So, transverse abdominal muscles. We switch on your obliques, your lower back. That's us done with the abs there, guys. So, hope you enjoyed that workout, guys. If you did, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. We got plenty more of the 10-minute no-repeat ones coming up real soon, so stay tuned. 
Leave us a comment below. I'll see you next time.